We've got into Port Ellen, we've linked in here and we've quickly diagnosed the problem. We must have hit something out there, we didn't see it, but one of the fins on the prop has completely snapped off. Fortunately, we have got a spare prop with us, so it's just a matter of getting in the water and uh, repairing it. So uh, hopefully we can get that done. The forecast is for a Force 8 soon coming through, so we're not going anywhere further today. So we'll have lunch and uh, get on with it. Sierra Hebrides, north easterly, Gale Force 8, expected soon. Um, we're not going anywhere today, that's for sure. Nothing is ever simple with boats, is it? Or cheap. Should have been easy. Replacing the propeller, we got a spare on board. We couldn't get the nut off that's holding the propeller on. We've tried, we've tried everything. In the end, we've got a local engineer who's come out half six, seven o'clock on Saturday night. He can't do it either. Looks like we're stripping the nut. The only choice tomorrow is going to be to haul the boat out of the water, crane it out, and do it on the dry. <sighs> What's that about boating? Pouring money into the water, or burning money, or whatever the saying is. I think it's proved true. That is just scary. That, that's not storm waves, that's just a tide race out there. Calm sea there, and then you've got that race out there. That's the sort of conditions you get up here from time to time. You see it on the charts and you think nothing of it, but when you see it in, in reality, it's pretty scary. There's nothing I've looked forward to less on the whole trip than what's going to happen in the next few hours. The problem is, it is blowing a Force 8. We've driven around the island and seen what the conditions are like, and we've got to go out from this safe haven here, around a hideous amount of rocks and small islands, to get to where his boatyard is. It's scary to say the least, it's conditions I've never dreamed of going out in, let alone with only one engine and without any steering because the power steering comes off the starboard engine. So as soon as the engineer gets down here, the boat builder, one of the local guys is going to come with us because we don't know the rocks and, and in these conditions it's going to be great having a local with us to show us the way. And as soon as he gets here, we're heading out there. When Gus arrived with Bertie, they decided to give it one last attempt before heading out into the gale. The locking nut still wouldn't shift. Bertie suggested we try and do it alongside the slip, where he could get real leverage. And success, saving us a nightmare trip along the coast to the boatyard. No way, it's a Sunday as well. Thank you. Unbelievable. Just came out on a Sunday, sorted it for us, wouldn't take a penny, refused to take anything for it and just said maybe when they're in Cornwall, they might need a hand. I mean, that's, that's amazing. Well, that was the cause of the problem. Completely sheared off and of course vibration up through the leg. So we're still in Port Allen. Northern Ireland is in sight across the horizon or will be when this uh, blows through and tomorrow morning we're hoping to head south, Northern Ireland and onwards towards home.